Hi, me again. And some good news today, actually. The BBC seem to have realised that it's not 1950 anymore. It's actually 2020. And they've taken one of their biggest kids shows of all time, News Round, you know, the news and the current affairs thing aimed at kids. And they've scrapped it from broadcast TV. And they're only going to show it online. And more specifically, on YouTube. Now, some of the newspapers have been absolutely ripping on the BBC about this, saying, how can kids watch it? You're not allowed a YouTube account till you're 13, blah, 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 blah. What utter nonsense. I've got a niece and nephew, both under the age of 13, and they both have an iPad. They're very lucky kids. And they got an app on there called YouTube Kids. And you can just let them crack on and watch whatever they want, because you know they're not going to get anything inappropriate. And they're not 13. So I don't get it. I think this is a good positive move from the BBC, and I like it. As I say, I do think it's a good positive move from the BBC. You know, kids these days, especially young kids, they must not be able to imagine the times when you used to have to wait till Thursday at four to watch your favourite show. That must just seem really odd to them. I mean, it seems odd to me now, but I used to be the same. Now, if you want your show to be watched by loads of kids, get it on YouTube, because that's where the kids are. So the BBC, are they are thinking now. They're thinking this through. I can't say I've ever been on the BBC's YouTube channels before, but I thought I'd take a little look and look at some statistics just to see how well they're doing on there. Now, the BBC's main YouTube account looks like it's got over 9 million subscribers, which is 9 million more than I've got. And in the last 30 days, they had 123 million views on their videos all combined, which again is bloody respectable. I tell you what, I bet they wish they could turn monetization on for that, don't they? All right, let's, uh, I'm going to take a look at some of their top viewed videos. And the first one suggested to me is uh, from the Graham Norton show with the definitely not at all clickbaity title of Selma Hayek's Breasts. <laughs> now, I don't agree with clickbait at all. If I click a video called Selma Hayek's Breasts, I want to see Selma Hayek's breasts. You know, if I put a video out to you guys and I entitled it Lady Gaga's Foot Long Schlong, you'd want to see some pee pee in that, wouldn't you? I bloody hate clickbait. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to. It's annoying me. Hang on. That's better. So, what other highlights have they got on their YouTube channel? Let's take a look. Blimey, they've got a lot of videos with a lot of views. Now, in the UK, they can't show adverts on their. YouTube videos because they're supposed to be non-commercial. But if you look at YouTube outside of the UK, you will see ads on their videos. Now, I would imagine most of their viewers are probably from the UK, but with those kind of numbers that they're getting, there must be loads of viewers from outside the UK. So they are making money. They are making money off these YouTube videos. How much money are they making? Let's see what we can find out. Now, you only have to have a little scout around YouTube and type in something like, how much money does 10 million views pay me to find out? And there's loads of web articles on it as well. This is the sort of thing you'll find. But they, uh, the way YouTube works, it's not a flat rate for your video. So every video that gets 10 million views isn't going to get the same rate. If you or me get a video that gets 10 million views, we're nowhere near going to earn as much ad revenue as someone like the BBC because I would imagine YouTube put the BBC in their quality content bracket, which means they get higher earnings per view. But this YouTube ad revenue, this could be a nice little earner for them, you know. Imagine if they put EastEnders on after it had been on BBC One every night, stick it straight on YouTube and show ads on there so people all around the world could watch it. Think how much ad rev they'd get from that. You know, being commercial ain't the worst thing in the world, you know. Now, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the stats on this website. I'm using for one very good reason. I'm the smallest YouTuber in the world, so I put myself in there to see what it knew about me. Have a look at this. 57 to $917 a month, they think I'm making in ad revenue. It's less than the 57. And around 11,000 a year in ad revenue. Blimey, I'd love that. I tell you, if I ever reach 11k a year in ad revenue from this pokey little YouTube channel. I'll do one of them stupid giveaway things that YouTubers do and I'll pay some OAP's TV licenses with it. That's enough from me today, I think, though. I'll see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.